diatribe. This is obviously not Mr. Michael Hand. This is Ben Heck, the Ben Heck Show. Or How's it going, Patrick? Good, man. Or should I call it Element 14's The Ben Heck Show? Technically, yes, Element 14's The Ben Heck Show. And we have a weird collection of stuff on the table, even for us. We have a toaster oven, a pile of basically PCBs with the components mounted on them. And I was hoping to get to talk to you about not failing at surface mount soldering. Oh, yes. Have you guys had some trouble with surface mount on the show before? Every time I try to surface mount, so solder surface mount, I, I'd say I'm a one in three. But essentially, I mean, everything on this board is pretty much surface mount. Components. Well, maybe maybe a good way to preface this is why they use surface mount. Now, these are through hole parts in your uh, solid state relay array. Relay array, there's another weird one. Through hole I'm good with. Yeah, <laughs> so that, what that means are, is the leads go through holes through the board. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the thing is, you can't fit as many components in because any component you have here not only takes up space on the part side, but leads come through here. So it eats up more space. So with surface mount, you have less space and there's also less cost because the surface mount components can be mounted by machines. And this is, you know, this package is pretty standard. Like if you were to try to resolder this, you know, soldering, it's not just about having a soldering iron and some solder, there's other tools you would use mm -hmm. here. So if you wanted to remove this, what I'd probably do is I'd probably flood it. Mm -hmm flood it with solder and then keep a consistent heat and then once the solder all the solder has become you know warmed up enough you can actually just slide the part off you of course you want to slide it in an open direction right so yeah you don't need a whole refill oven mm -hmm. refill ovens are just for basically making an entire board okay so you don't really recommend like preheating a board to try to make it easier to solder to it or anything well like it's that? you know it's like a hand grenade to get rid of a you know, a flea kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you just need to heat up the part. So I'm pretty sure Michael would like me to ask very politely if you could solder that back on, because I'm pretty sure neither one of us are ready to do that just yet. No problem, it would be my pleasure. Thank you. So if you're doing this, um, you'd place a chip, mm -hmm. you'd center it where you want it to be, and then you would just hit, you'd hit one pin mm -hmm. on one side or one corner, then you hit the other one. Okay. And then the rest of them are gonna stay in place. But then it's not even about hitting every individual one. Like what I would literally do is I would just put a flood of solder. Okay. Just basically flood them, you know? And that way you want to get is something called solder wick. I'm sure you know what that is. Why am I saying that? No, 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 I've, 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 I've been using, I've used solder wick since I was a child. So solder wick, <laughs> it, it's basically braided copper. It yeah. looks like if someone made like a, a copper lanyard or something. You can use, I mean, you can use stranded wire as, as really bad uh, copper wick in an emergency situation. Yeah, you take your solder, your solder wick, uh -huh. hit one side, right? And basically it'll leave just enough solder on the pin and the pad to hold it together? Yeah, and it might, you might still have some bridges. Mm -hmm. And bridge, bridges are when there's a little bit of solder between right. two pins, but otherwise it's good. And for that, you just take the tip of your iron and go, just kind of pull it away. But yeah, by doing the flood method, so you're not, don't think of it as, you know, soldering every individual pin, you're soldering them all at once. Just drop a hot mess of solder on there and clean it up with the, yeah. with the wick. Once your face look as smooth as the pins on that chip, you should check out dollarshaveclub.com slash DIY. Our sponsor is going to deliver amazing premium blades at super discount prices straight to your doorstep. I use them myself, dollarshaveclub.com slash DIY. Get yourself a deal and have a better looking shave. And hey, if you haven't seen it, check out Ben's amazing soldering reflow oven episode. We got a link to it right here for you. Ben, thank you so much. It occurs to me that the number one rule that I have learned is always keep a large supply of soldering braid on hand or desoldering braid. Right, but I hope I helped demystify surface mount for you a little bit. This was incredible. Actually, I, I am, I am, I, am I, I, what I want to do is to try to solder on a chip like this, but if I do it on Michael's board after you've repaired it, he'll probably kill me. What's the website to find the Ben Heck Show? Element14.com forward slash TBHS. And you can also find it on Revision 3, I believe. Yes, revision3.com slash should be The Ben Heck Show. I should probably check that. That sounds right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Heck, thank you so much. No problem. You've been watching Die Try and more of our builds are on youtube.com slash die and die and .com. Comment down below or tweet at die try and thank you so much for watching. Dude, that was so cool. Thanks, man. And did you pull this off the shipyard? Where is this? <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here that we don't really know where vessels. it came from.